So the next thing I'm going to make is Roland's little cap, okay? So what this is gonna look like is it's gonna sit on top of his head with the point going in through the center between his eyes, okay? This is creating that first part of his shell. So that's gonna be this part right here where the antenna are going to be attached. So we're gonna create that cap. So what you'll need is you're still gonna need your E-hook, you're gonna need your stitch marker, and you're also going to need your dark gray yarn for this one. Okay, we're gonna do six single crochets in a magic ring. So again, form your hand like a backwards L. We're gonna wrap it around once, twice, and three times, holding it with your thumb. Go underneath the last two loops here, up over that first loop, and pull through so that you get that A shape. Pinch it so you can get your middle finger out. All right, now taking this working yarn in the back, yarn over your hook, so you've got two loops, and pull through, and that will get it nice and stay, keep it in those nice two loops there. Now you wanna go ahead and do six single crochets into this center hole here. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, grab your tail, start to pull it to see that it's this loop that you need to hold on to, that first loop that starts to go in. Grab it and you're gonna pull it nice and tight. Okay, and now take your tail and pull that one nice and tight. And that's created your very tight, solid double magic ring to start the cap. Put your stitch marker on your working yarn here on that, on that loop that's on your hook. The next thing we're gonna do, just as we did with the head, is we're gonna go ahead and increase around on the next round, okay? What that means, again, is you're going to do two single crochets in each of the stitches, each of the six stitches from the prior round. And what I like to do with the tail is I lay it over the top and I start just for a few stitches here. I work over that tail and that just helps to secure it on the inside. It's not gonna go anywhere, but it's just something I've gotten used to doing. Then I tuck it to the back and then I continue on doing my increases around. Okay, so I've done my increases around. At the end of this, you'll have 12 stitches. Go ahead and move your stitch marker. Next round for round three, we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase and two single crochets and then an increase. You're gonna do that pattern around. So we'll do one single crochet in the next, another one single crochet in the next, and then we're gonna do an increase, which is two single crochets in the next, okay? Now we're gonna do one single crochet, two single crochets, right? And then in the last of those patterns, we're gonna do two and one, right? Single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets in the next, that's the pattern, okay? So there's one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochets in the next. So you, you'll see in patterns that they're written different ways to mean the same thing, and that can get confusing when you're new to doing crocheting. I know I found it confusing at first, and I ended up having to use the ending round numbers to kind of figure out the math and figure out why we were doing things a certain way. All right, so you finished that round. At the end, your count should be on 16 because we did four increases on that round. We did that pattern four times. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do round four, which is just to single crochet around. So we're just maintaining 16 stitches by just doing one single crochet in each of the prior rounds stitches, okay? So go ahead and do that on your own and I'll meet you back at the end. All right, I have finished round four. I'm gonna move my stitch marker here. And round five, we're gonna create that point part that will go between Roland's eyes. What we need to do first is we are going to do one single crochet in the next, so do that now. There's one. All right, in the next stitch, you're gonna do a half double crochet. Half double crochet, you yarn over to start. Now you've got two loops on your hook go into the next stitch available, 
yarn over from the back and pull through. Now you've got three loops, yarn over again and pull through all loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet, okay? And in this next stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, and then another double crochet, all in this next stitch. So let's do that together. Double crochet is similar to the half double crochet. You yarn over to start, just as you did before, Go in to your stitch, yarning over in the back and pulling forward. Now we've got three loops. Yarn over again, there's four, but instead of pulling it all the way through, you're gonna pull through first two loops, yarn over again, and pull through the last two loops. It makes a slightly higher stitch. So you can see that we're going up, right? We've done a single crochet, next size up, half double crochet, next size up, double crochet. Now we wanna create that point, and so we're doing something like a pico here. It's a pico stitch when you do this. It's chain two, and picos I've seen in many different sizes. You could do three chains or however you want, but in this one we're doing two chains, and if you aren't familiar with chaining, let me just show you real quick. You yarn over and you just pull through. That's a chain. <laughs> it's very easy. It's one of the simplest stitches you can do, um, and often people will just start learning uh, by doing chains. All right, so we've got two chains on our hook. We're gonna go in through the center of the V on that first chain that we made, okay? Which is also the second chain from your hook. That's what it's called. It's the second chain from your hook. Also is the first chain that we just did, okay? We're gonna yarn over from the back. We're gonna pull through, and then we're just gonna pull that loop through the last one, okay? All right, and see, you can see that it's created this little pointed shape, okay? It's a little triangular shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our double crochet again in that same stitch, okay? So yarn over, going into that same stitch, yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through more, two more loops. So that has created your nice pointed shape for the front of his cap. All right, from there, we're gonna go ahead and then we need to make the descending side. So we've ascended up to the point, now we need to descend just like a mountain. So we're gonna go ahead and do another half double crochet. So yarn over, going into the next stitch, yarn over from the back and pull forward, yarn over again and pull through all loops on your hook. There's your half double crochet. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and do another single crochet. You can see that it's matching, right? It's matching on both sides so that it, it creates that nice peak look. So we're doing a single crochet. And then to finish off, we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch in the next. So going in, pulling a loop from the back, like so, and then just pull it through that loop on your hook. You're leaving the remainder of the stitches unworked. You're done. So we're just gonna leave some tail here because you're gonna connect it by sewing it to the head and then just pull that tail through that last loop there, okay? You can take your stitch marker out. You don't need that anymore. And that's it, that's your little cap that we're gonna go ahead and sew down later to the head. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks guys.